Dissecting not Petya. So you thought it was a ransomware. Hello, my name is Caleb Fenton, and I'm a security researcher at Sentinel One. NotPetya was originally reported as a ransomware attack, but was eventually found to be a wiper malware, which was used for destruction rather than financial gain. This destruction was possibly intended as a distraction. Since the outbreak started and was mostly limited to the Ukraine, it's possible a state actor was responsible for the malware. Because state actors don't normally use ransomware attacks, Hiding destructive malware in the guise of ransomware gives some deniability. So, what is wiper malware? Wiper malware destroys data and potentially cripples systems. It's purely destructive. This type of malware used to be more common in the past when most malware authors were either disgruntled employees or angsty youths. But the goal of malware has shifted dramatically to financial gain as criminals realized the potential of ransomware and other types of malware. Wiper malware is typically politically motivated and associated with hacktivist groups. At first glance, NotPetya appears to be ransomware. It goes through all the familiar movements. It encrypts files. It shows a ransom note contains decryption code, and so on. However, a subtle bug in how it infects the master boot record makes the files completely unrecoverable. Successful ransomware campaigns make it easy for the victims to notify the malware operators of payment, and for the operators to give victims the decryption keys to recover their files. However, with NotPetya, there was only a single email address, which was quickly taken down. The ransom code in general was sloppy. For example, when ransomware typically encrypts files, it renames them by adding a file extension. This way, when it decrypts the files, it can easily tell which files are encrypted. But with NotPetya, encrypted files aren't renamed, which makes it super hard for any decryption algorithm to know which files to decrypt. Unlike WannaCry, which scans the internet and spreads to any vulnerable machines it finds, NotPetya only spreads through your internal network, but it's quite sophisticated in how it scans the network and spreads to new machines. First, it collects credentials and active sessions. Then, it scans your network for accessible SMB shares. Once it finds an open share, it copies itself. Once it's copied, it will try to use the stored credentials or active sessions to remotely execute the malware and infect the machine. NotPetya can also use leaked NSA exploits, Eternal Blue, and Eternal Romance to spread to vulnerable machines. Sentinel One is the only company which guarantees to stop ransomware attacks through our cyber warranty and will offer up to $1 million in warranty protection against ransomware attacks. And in this particular case, those that paid the NotPetya ransom didn't get their files back anyways. Sentinel-1 is proud to announce that our customers are all safe and protected from this attack. For full technical details and analysis, download the white paper at www.sentinel1.com.